Hi friends, welcome to our channel Life is to Live. Before going to today's video, I request all of you to subscribe our channel Life is to Live by pressing on the subscribe button and by clicking on the bell button so that each and every updated video immediately after our updation you can get uh, um, alerts so that you can access to the videos. If you have any doubts, any queries, you can also contact us in the mobile number through mobile or WhatsApp so that we can give you clarity. The series of videos related to grammar can make you easily learn English grammar without any difficulty. But we are giving some awareness and guidance here, but you need to understand them clearly and practice them. For practice, we have published some books also, where you can find lots of sentences for practice. If anybody wants to get those books, you can contact us in the mobile number through WhatsApp or mobile so that you can get the books from the place where you are living. And this is the book English Grammar for Effective Communication. All the topics, the grammar topics which we are explaining here have in detail explanations along with practice sentences. And one more book is on communication skills effective communication skills to win the world. Both these two books are very much useful to learn English grammar and communication. If you want to get these books, contact us in our mobile number through WhatsApp or mobile. Okay? And in the English grammar series, the third topic is on kinds of noun. In the previous video, we discussed about parts of speech. In the parts of speech, the first one is noun. Now, we have to discuss in detail what is a noun and what are the different kinds of nouns. In the previous video, we learned that nouns are names. The naming words are nouns. But here, in detail, what are the different kinds of nouns that is what we are going to discuss. For example, basically nouns are divided into two kinds. Concrete nouns and abstract nouns. See, nouns, names are divided into two kinds depending upon their characteristics as a concrete nouns and abstract nouns. Basically, nouns are two kinds. Concrete nouns, abstract nouns. See, what are these concrete nouns and what are these abstract nouns? That is what we are supposed to discuss, isn't it? For example, just as take abstract nouns. Abstract in the sense which is not physically existing, which we can feel, which we can enjoy, but which we cannot see, which we cannot touch because they don't have physical features. See, for example, here we have three qualities. See, that is quality, what is called uh, quality in the sense uh, we can have, uh, for example, kindness, Sympathy, darkness. isn't it? Darkness, like this. See, kindness, we can feel kindness, it is a characteristic which we cannot see. For example, darkness, we have to feel it, it is not physically existing, it, it cannot be touched, we have to feel it, isn't it? And uh, the second one is a state of condition. state of condition. See for example, childhood, childhood, death, isn't it? Childhood, we have to feel it. We cannot have a physical feature for that. Child has a physical feature. Childhoodness is not physically active. In the death, we cannot see 
we can see a dead body but not a death these are state of conditions and at the same time we have a action see for example laughter isn't it laughter we can't uh, see it we can do that for example theft isn't it these are the three sorts of called quality kindness uh, darkness sympathy all these are uh, feelings state of condition childhood death youth something like that old age and action laughter theft something these are the things the nouns which we can feel which we can enjoy but which we cannot see touch because they don't have physical features such kind of nouns are called abstract nouns for example air air we are we are consuming we are using every minute every second without which we cannot live but can we see it can we touch it can we handle it no that is why air see for example air which is called an abstract which is not physically existing such kind of nouns are called abstract nouns and this is what concrete concrete nouns are four in number concrete in the sense physically existing the nouns the things objects or whatever it is which have physical features they have, they are called as concrete nouns for example table chair isn't it man pen like this see if you see all these things table chair man pen immediately when we heard the word pen we can get the physical feature of a pen and when we can uh, heard the name ma'am immediately we can get the picture see all these have physical features immediately after seeing that we can identify we can touch we can handle so the names of the things people animals places or whatever it is which are physically existing which can be seen which can be touched which can be handled are called concrete nouns okay but these concrete nouns are divided into four kinds again see first one proper nouns proper nouns see proper nouns are the particular or individual names of persons places things or animals are called proper nouns for example we mention as ashoka name of a particular person particular emperor for example india name of a, a particular country and like the for example bangalore like this see name of a person name of a country name of a place like that these are called ashoka particular person's name name of a person individual name name of a country it is this country is called as india not any other one so this is the particular and individual name of a, a country individual name of a a place so individual names particular names personal names are called proper nouns proper nouns generally starts with a capital letter proper noun should start with a capital letter always okay the second one is common nouns common nouns the word common commonly the nouns which can be used commonly a set of uh, to a particular kind of uh, places people things or whatever it is for example teacher doctor student like this listen yes, see for example teacher anyone who teaches can be named as a teacher anyone who treats patients are called a doctor anyone who is studying is called a teacher see for example if there are 60 guys in a classroom everyone can may be mentioned with the the name called a student but they have their own names those are called proper nouns 
For example, Ashoka proper noun. If he is a student, he is a student. That is called a student is the common noun. Common noun is a name which can be used to any one of a particular kind. Okay. And the third one is collective nouns. Collective nouns. Collective. The name or noun which can be used to a group of people, things, um, animals are called a collective noun. See for example, army. Isn't it? Army is collection of group of soldiers. Is called a army. Crowd. Group of people. Crowd. Isn't it? See, folk. Group of animals or birds. Crowd. See here, these are, this is the noun which can be used to a collection of people, places, things, animals, birds are called collective nouns. Just like as army, crowd, folk, isn't it? We can use as collective noun, isn't it? And the last one is called material nouns. Material nouns. See, material nouns. Material, the names of metals, materials, out of which things are made, are called material nouns. See, for example, gold, silver, isn't it, wood, like this. See, for example, gold, the name of a metal, precious metal, out of which gold ornaments can be made. Silver, it is also a metal, out of which we can prepare different utensils, things, ornaments. Wood, out of which we can prepare furniture. Like this, these are the nouns which are used as material nouns. The names of metals, materials, out of which things are made or substances are called material nouns. Like this, all these things. See here, Ashoka, India, Bangalore, all the things are visible and have physical features. Teacher, doctor, student also, army, crowd, folk and gold, silver, wood. All these are physically existing, possessing a physical feature. So that these are called concrete nouns. So basically, Nouns are names of the things, places, objects. And these kinds, noun is divided into two kinds, concrete nouns, abstract nouns. Abstract, not visible. So, the nouns, feelings, I uh, mean, the abstract things may be called as abstract nouns. And which are physically existing called concrete nouns. In concrete nouns, again, we have four kinds, proper nouns, the particular or individual names of persons, places, things are called proper nouns. Generally, those starts with the capital letter. And the second one is common nouns. The nouns which can be used commonly to a particular kind of persons, places, things are called I mean, common. For example, here we can mention city. Any city may be mentioned. Bangalore city, Hyderabad. We can call Bangalore as a city. Hyderabad as a city. I mean Chennai as a city. Like that, which can be used as a common noun. And student. Anyone who is studying can be mentioned as a student. Anyone who treats patients are called a student doctor. The person, anyone who teaches is called a teacher. So, these are the nouns which can be used commonly to a particular kind of a person's places, things. Isn't it? And collective. So, collection of people, group of people, things, objects may be called with a particular name, called as a army, crowd, folk, something like that, which are called collective nouns. So, for example, committee. Isn't it? Which consists of people, which consists of people, that is called committee. And last one is material nouns. The names of metals, materials and their substances are called material nouns. Is it not easy to understand? Like this we are supposed to understand. Okay. After learning these things, we have to practice. If you practice them regularly, you can understand them better. Okay. If you want to get the books, contact us. Wish you all the best. Thank you.